Both legal Ouch. men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings Ouch. of an epic match. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Crossbody. He's taking some oh. offense. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting oh. his partner in there for a bit. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme. But he goes for the cover. And an early kick out in this unusual matchup. Not yet. Oh boy, he is rolling. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned. And backlash. He's looking. Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. So impressive. X marks the spot on that one. Comes up big with the reversal. Oh boy, he is rolling. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoy the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point it seemed like the U Going for broke! Slam down hard! Here's his moment, Michael! Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath.
Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got a tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Stay down, man. Nail it. Can he finish him off here? He's going for the pin. One, two, just before three. That was real close. Still too fresh. He's making a statement here with this attack. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Wow, that should be the final blow. Oh, what impact. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary, considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in here. But remember, guys, his opponent has a long way to go if he's looking to even things up here. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kobe Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. He finds himself in some big trouble here. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title lane at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage. And that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. But I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. <laughs> He's lining him up. He can't take much more. Look at this. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Super kick! Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. The rude awakening. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. He's on the defensive now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. Well, it would be unrealistic to expect him to not at least take some offense here. The good news for him is that he still appears to be in a better place than his opponent. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Bringing it back into the ring. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Getting closer now. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Got him up. Neck breaker. That could be it. He knows he's in trouble. This could be all she wrote. Ooh, what impact. This could be the turning point. Will this be enough? There's the kick out. Not yet.
The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a stomp. Good grief. Here he goes. Thunderous slam. Just shoulders down. Is it enough? They got it. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Almost forgot about this one. Remember this? Look at him go. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here are your winners. And Logan. We could have gone either way there for a while. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. I don't think anybody would have expected anything less from a match here at Extreme Rules. That was the absolute definition of vicious.